The atmosphere was indeed electric on the red carpet for the big screen premiere of Glee 3D, the concert movie in Westwood, Saturday night. Make it a fool out of me. Hundreds of devoted Gleeks waited hours for an up-close and personal look at their favorite stars from the hit TV show. Chris and his Glee castmates already have achieved rock star status in Hollywood. Having only just completed its sophomore season on television, the Glee phenomenon has already spawned a sold out worldwide live concert tour, and from that, a 3D movie which promises audiences the best seats in the house, and celebrity Gleeks like Kathy Griffin couldn't be happier. The crowd was just going nuts. It's like the Beatles here. But I, you know, I said that to someone. They didn't know what I was referring to. I said, this reminds me of the opening footage that I used to watch of the Beatles movie, Help, or A Hard Day's Night. Once I get in the theater, I know everyone's going to be singing along and screaming, and I'm going to be one of them. Is this like the Rocky Horror Picture Show of this generation, do you think? Oh, wow. Sure, yeah. That, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Star Leah Michelle knows that 3D will bring much more than what viewers are used to seeing. I, I, it's going to be, you know, a lot. Me coming at me and my face, but I'm really excited. I, I can't believe that we're doing a 3D movie. I'm just happy it's a movie to begin with, and the fact that it's 3D, I think, is like super cool. I mean, I'm going to show this to my kids in years to come and be like, look, I used to be cool. Filmed over just two nights from their 50 City tour earlier this year, the film also showcases some intimate backstage moments with cast and crew. Kevin McHale describes the feeling of going from closed set to concert stage. It's weird in, in all the right ways. Um, I can't wait. I never thought we'd ever do that, never mind be in 3D. And it's just surreal to have this experience and be able to go see it. I'm excited to see what everybody did because we didn't necessarily get to see that on tour. But you know, it's nice that people are so invested and um, so interested in what we're doing. And hopefully, hopefully it just inspires people to um, do music and art. So to get the movie treatment usually takes 10, 15, 20 years. You did it in two. What does that say about the power of this show and the people that love it? Well, I think the, the social issues that have made this show what it is and the fans that have made this show what it is has really helped that. I think that it's really exploded because of the effect that it's had on the world. So um, I'm really, really grateful. I'm so excited. And uh, more than anything, we're, we're grateful to say thank you to our fans. And despite the pressure of requiring a winning performance this week on their own show, the finalists from So You Think You Can Dance found time to catch the premiere. But are they fans? I love Glee. I watch it every week. <laughs> Big fan, I want to be on it. Yeah, Marco and I are going to try to audition for this. <laughs> when I would audition. Oh. I have to work on my scales. Yeah. So you know you gotta make sure you. He's bread. known for his killer six pack you know, and even deadlier dance moves, but turns out Harry Shum Jr. is his own worst critic. I'm very critical of myself, and sometimes I can't even watch myself on screen. Just like, oh, it looks terrible. So I'm, I'm really hard on myself on that, uh, on that aspect. But what's great is that you have you know 14, uh, 13 other people that are are killing it on stage, and I think that's what makes this concert so special outside of the show is that everyone has such a strong uh, suit when they come in and. And, and have an ability to really take over as far as what they do really well. Glee 3D, the concert movie, is only going to be in theaters for two weeks starting August 12th. After that, fans will have to wait for the third season when it premieres September 20th. Glee, the 3D concert movie. Hey, yeah, good time. Woo. In Westwood, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.